So I'm not a small talk person. I don't talk about the weather. I don't know much about some of the sports here, which I'm trying to learn still, even after 20 years. <clears throat> like cricket and footy. I, I, there's a lot of things that I don't have in common with patients in my area to talk to them about. But I use this technique, which suits me really well, because, again, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I would like to have more really deep conversation with people in general. I don't like general chat. So four, let's jump into it. F for family, O for occupation, R for recreation, D for desires. Now, most people around the world, this, those four topics are their most favorite topics. Again, if you want to be interesting, you have to be interested. If you're interested in the person in front of you and let them speak about themselves, you suddenly become very interesting. People are like, oh, this guy is really interesting. This was really in interesting, but you didn't say much. So fourth, so family, I always ask about family. So, um, you know, tell me, tell me about your family, Lord, you know, like, um, do you have any brother or sister? Are you, are you, it depends on their age, are you, are you married or single? Like, just a little bit of chit chat about their family, you know, tell me about, do you have any children? And from there, find commonalities. If they have, I've got two children, they go to whatever school, click down more, like which school they go to. Oh, my, you know, my cousin went there as well, or went there when I was a child. Just try to find common grounds. What sport does he do? Like, do they do any sport? Um, so ask them about their family. Um, you know, wh wh where did you come from? Did you always grow up in this area or did you move from somewhere else? A bit of their family. Patients like to talk about their family. And, and so, sound friendly, don't sound too intrusive. Like, oh, no, I'm really curious to know. Like, you know, have you always grown up in this area or you just moved in here? Do you, have, do you come from a big family or a small family? You know, like, questions like that will help them to open up and talk about themselves. Occupation. Again, it might help you as a dentist, of course, to know if there's any risks, but I would say like, what do you do for a living? Or as a younger, what, what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what are you studying at the moment? Do you study your work? And then when they talk about their, uh, what they do, don't just ask some really nice questions like, oh, what made you choose that profession? Tell me more. What do you like about it? Do you enjoy doing it? Do you find, um, do you find it stressful sometimes? Ask some real deep questions as if you're talking to a friend patients will open up they will tell you yeah i always wanted to be an engineer since i was a little child oh that's great so what what attracted you to being an engineer and how do you find your daily like tasks do you find it interesting or there are certain aspects in your job that you find really boring tell me more about it the more they talk about what they like the more they open up to you amazing isn't it the last the third one is recreation patients like to talk about recreation what how you know when you have spare time how do you like to have fun what do you do Oh, I play soccer or, uh, you know, I go to uh, ballet or I do like um, yoga or whatever. Whatever they say, click down more. Like, okay, you know, so how did you get into it? You know, when did you start doing it? How do you find it? What do you like the most about it? And if, you know, um, how long do you see yourself doing in that? You know, is it something you want to do for just a few years or you want to eventually become a pro in it or like, well, tell me more, you know. So, and you have to be genuinely interested in that person. You generally want to know their story. Every person has a story, and every story is interesting. And the more you train this muscle, the more you'll find people more interesting, and the more you will connect with your patients even better. The last thing, thing is desires, especially with younger patients, like, you know, at school time. So what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to do after you finish high school? Desires, others, like, you know, what's your, what's your dream? What do, what, what do you want to do eventually? Like, you know, I know you work as a doctor. What's, what's your biggest dream of being a doctor? What is the dreams that you really want to achieve eventually? What's, what's, what do you want to, well, like, if you want to have a nice holiday, what was your dream holidays? Patients or people like to talk about their dreams and their desires. I would say D for dream more than desire, actually. So ask them about their dreams. So family, occupation, and recreation, dreams. Remember, people do business with people they like. So, yes, it's a business transaction because they are trading their hard-earned money for your skills. So if you get the patient to like you, the chance of the, them being comfortable with you would be very high. Now you're adding value to their treatment because they're going to have the treatment with someone they're comfortable and happy with. They will be happier. They will refer more of their friends and families to you. And most importantly, they will forgive you if you're running late sometimes or if there's a minor problem. If your patient doesn't like you, they're not going to refer anyone to you. They might not come back to you. They will be not forgiving for any tiny, small error 
or uh, any um, if you're running late. So if you find this information helpful, please make sure you like and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel so I can create more content that hopefully can add more value to you. Thank you very much.